Even most of the super-powered superheroes have implements on the side. Let's talk about some of the best. Welcome to my channel, KC, that's me, Carrie Chug, the Sledge Storyteller, here to talk about the wonderful world of storytelling and to an open up discussion about how we can tell the best stories we possibly can. I am a little under the weather, thankfully COVID-19 has been ruled out, glad to know that, especially since I have been vaccinated, but here we go. Because of the fine line that comes between gadgets and weapons, I'm combining them, so here are my top 10 superhero gadgets and weapons. So, number 10. Falcon's Red Wing. I had mentioned in a previous video about my top 10 animal themed superheroes that Falcon could telepathically link himself with birds. From his beginning in the comics, he had specially designated Red Falcon tagging along name at Red Wing, but when Falcon entered the MCU, he got a specialty jetpack wing along with Red Wing as a combat and reconnaissance drone. So various incarnations have been used, uh, first built by Stark Enterprises, then by the Wakandan Design Group. It does everything that you'd expect a military drone to do, pick up intelligence imagery and deploy weaponry when it might be high risk to get that close. An effective weapon, AI based yet not sentient, therefore relatively disposable and very much exciting to watch in action. Number 9. Iron Man Suit. You could just single out the gauntlet, but it's just too tempting to go with everything else. I mean, that line, make your move, reindeer games, is laughable if you're not armed to the teeth at this level. But energy bolts, missiles, rocket-powered flight, enhanced strength, near impenetrable armor, and guided mini-missiles that shoot after picking up pinpoint aim. Who's going to laugh at you if you got that? Number 8. Web Shooters. So, if you can't fly, being able to swing through New York City skyline and probably triple the time it takes to drive through, even when traffic is ideal, not a bad alternative. It doesn't stop there. Spidey can use his webs to blind his opponents, plug up their guns, pin them against the wall, and yank them away from their position to rob or harm anyone. Number seven, bow and arrow. Gunplay gets exciting, but there's a special display of skill by a surefire archer. Both DC's Green Lantern and Marvel's Hawkeye go beyond your basic pullback and release, with various forms of trick arrows. That is probably rooted in the guidelines that had to be followed when it came to violence after the 1954 comic book code was established. The compromise led to the creation of such trick arrows as boxing glove arrows. But the good thing that I think came out of that was the fact that it stimulated some creativity and the, uh, the push led to the use of exploding arrows, which could be used to disable the villain's vehicles and other mechanical menaces without actually uh, impaling the bad guys, but at times nowadays, these archers will find justification to outright impale the villains with basic arrows, and they have also been impressively formidable in using the bow as a, a weapon itself, and as well as their high-level combat skills. Number six, Mjolnir. As you may have figured out already, I love the hammer as a symbol of power, though the name Sledge is metaphorical. It's a pure adrenaline rush to watch Thor wield Mjolnir with such power, ease, and precision. You come at him with a fight in mind, you better be prepared to be crushed, bludgeoned, or rammed with Thor's blunt and rock-solid hammer. Number 5. Green Lantern's Ring. Ah, a weapon that creates whatever weapon comes to your mind. Why else would DC at one point decide that Green Lantern should be an artist in Kyle Rayner? But ultra-courageous Hal Jordan is still proved to be the long-term designee. But to see weapons formed by imagination and having all the ammo that the Green Lantern's charge can allow, it makes a Swiss Army knife look like a one-trick pony. Number 4. Wonder Woman's Magic Lasso. So using the lasso of truth strictly as a lariat to round up the bad guys or pull in whatever Wonder Woman needs to grab a hold of, boring. But when the lasso snakes left and right, clearing everyone and everything in sight, then we're talking about a game changer. Not only an awesome weapon, but the ultimate light detector. And there's no mentioning that without mentioning the cool factor that Wonder Woman's creator, William Morton Marston, was one of the early developers of the light detector and had a love light that was, to say the least, fascinating. But I digress. Who wouldn't want to make use of that? Number three, Wolverine's claws. You wouldn't want to let them get triggered while leaning against your fist, that's for sure. But if there's a lethal threat approaching, that would prove effective. 
Something so effective and so handy that it makes Wolverine, especially with all that attitude, no one to mess with. And why even bother with a catalog to shop for knives if you've got those? Number two, Captain America's shield. So, talk about your ultimate frisbee, but bad guys against Cap easily get knocked out cold from the front or the back, or get sandwiched against the wall. It absorbs all the energy of the impact of any weapon or projectile coming his way, and even keeps sliding doors open. Shield, weapon, sled, all in one. And finally... Okay, the real number one, Grapple Gun. So maybe I should be embarrassed by this, but no matter how bad the Batman movie may be, I love every moment you get to see the grapple get deployed. Yes, even the dozen times it happens in Batman and Robin. Doesn't redeem the whole movie, but I love to see the grapple gun in action. It sounds cool when it's launched, either with an explosive sound or a zip. Before Batman's built-in glider became commonplace, the grapple gave the imagery of flight in either swinging like Spider-Man or an ascension. Sometimes it can even serve as a weapon in various forms, even mere Spidey's web shooting when it comes to snagging criminals. It's just awesome. But that's my top 10 superhero gadgets and weapons. Agree? Disagree? Something I left out? Please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please click like. If you like this channel, please click subscribe or follow me on Instagram. I have seen an uptick in subscribers and to all you new subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The link to order Sledge number one is the below the description right there or you, you can order it on Kindle. Sledge number two, okay, uh, we've had some uh, speed bumps along the way but things are starting to happen to hopefully see an uptick. But as I always say, please let's look for civility amid all the bad news that's out there, social and political strife, as well as the pandemic. I'll always say it, if you qualify for the vaccination, please take it. It's been given to us. But thanks for watching. Everyone, be safe and God bless.